Owen Wilson has reportedly joined on with the Jim Carrey action comedy Loomis Fargo, although it should be pointed out that the title is apparently being changed. To be directed by Napoleon Dynamite director Jared Hess and inspired by true events, Loomis Fargo tells the story of a disgruntled bank employee who is ready to take a chance and risk it all for love, money, and the life he's only dreamed of. Teaming up with his work crush, they conspire to rob the financial institution. Together with their accomplices, the inexperienced criminals nab nearly two 20 million dollars leaving a trail of evidence in their wake now the only thing tougher than pulling off the heist will be getting away with it amy rose buy or sell loomis fargo i'm gonna buy it mm -hmm. i think this sounds fun and jim carrey i think will be really good in a role like this comedy as well as you know more serious and a heist love me a good heist so this could be a fun time for me unfortunately this has got to be a sell <gasps> um owen wilson um, this is completely unfair to say, but but it's it's the truth, despite how unfair it is. <laughs> I've had a very, very hard time, and I think audiences have had a very hard time looking at Owen Wilson and comedies since that unfortunate personal attempted suicide thing that he had a number of years ago. And it's unfair, it's totally unfair for me to, to totally see it that unfair. way. But now, but when I see him, the, the natural reaction is just, I just think of tragedy when I look at him. And let's look at, look at, let's look at Owen Wilson's track record lately in films that he has led in. The Big Year, complete failure. Midnight in Paris, which a lot of people love. That was wonderful. Whatever. Not a lot of people want to go see it. Hall Pass, <laughs> terrible. How do you know? Terrible. Ugh, awful. Marley mm -hmm. and Me was his biggest financial success in the last 10 years. I think it made like $150 million. But a lot of people didn't like it. But it's about a dog. <laughs> stars a dog. Stars a dog. dog. Drill Bit Taylor, <laughs> terrible. Uh, and now you've got the internship. Was him reteaming on his probably his biggest success ever with Vince Vaughn, of course, from their uh, Wedding Crasher days, and it makes 17 million on its opening weekend. It absolutely flops. On top of that, you've got this director Hess, who directed uh, the one, the ultimate one-hit wonder movie with Napoleon Dynamite. So fun, though. And Love then he movie. followed it up with the absolutely abysmal Nacho Libre, which was just <laughs> terrible. So I, I don't have a lot of faith. Oh, it pains me to say this because I. I've loved Owen Wilson in so many things, in Zoolander, and, and obviously in Wedding Crashers, and a lot of other stuff, but I just don't believe in him as a bankable star in any stretch of the imagination anymore, especially in comedy, and I just don't believe in this director. So for me, I can totally see why people would want to buy it. I do, and I, I get it. The synopsis doesn't interest but you at all? Synopsis sounds interesting, yeah. but that other stuff, yeah. for me personally, outweighs it. So for me personally, it's going to have to be a sell. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and we'll keep you up to date on all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to find out about our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.